Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures. Today I am bringing you a look at our Masterclass Scenix Crushed Glass and how it can be used to create a very realistic, sparkling snow effect. Before I start talking about how to work with a crushed glass snow, I want to talk about why you should be using crushed glass to make your snow. And I can think of no better place to start than this incredible piece from Matthew Fontaine titled Blood and Snow. Matthew used the Secret Weapon Scenix Crushed Glass to create that snow effect by mixing it with some uh, gloss medium, very similar to the realistic water that comes with our crushed glass bundle. From every angle you can see that this creates a wet, glistening, slushy looking snow. This next piece, his Chaos Ogre, also uses the Secret Weapon Scenix crushed glass. Again, you can see how you get that nice, wet, slushy, flowing look from crushed glass that you're just not going to get with any other snow product out there. And now let's take a look at working with the crushed glass to create your own realistic snow. What I have here is my secret weapon crushed glass, a bottle of realistic water that comes with the crushed glass bundle, and a runic mountain base to which I've already applied some of the crushed glass snow, and one of my spare pallets. In this case, the snow that I've already applied, you can see I've got sections of solid, flaky looking snow, and a section here of wetter, slushier looking snow, a little more water than snow. Both sides were created with the Secret Weapon Crushed Glass and Realistic Water Mix, and now I'll show you how I'm doing it. First thing I'm going to do is take my crushed glass, let you take a look at this, hopefully the camera will pick it up so you can see just how sparkly this is. The fact that it's crushed glass means you're going to get a little bit of a blue tint and an awful lot of sparkle in a way that you just don't get from the other snow products out there, most of which are polyester, and that plastic it just doesn't shine. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the crushed glass into my palette. You can even see it sparkling as it comes out. Please note that I am wearing gloves and my dust mask while I'm doing this. Close that back up when I'm done working with it so I don't accidentally spill. And then take realistic water. Do not shake the realistic water. There's no need to do it. Just put it upside down, add a few drops. You're going to mix this up until you get the uh, consistency you're looking for. The more realistic water you use, the wetter the snow is going to look, the uh, slushier it's going to look. Just checking out the consistency at this point. It's a little wet for me. I want to create a drier look like I did on the solid snow for that base. So I'm just going to add just a tiny, tiny bit more snow. You can see how little I'm adding. Mix it up at the end of that brush. And put the lid back on. One drop of realistic water, just to thin that out a little bit. I had a little too much of the crushed glass. And I'm going to apply it to the base. Now I want this to match that solid fluffy looking snow I have on this side of the base. So I'm just going to start by scraping it on, just to apply it to the base. The first thing I want to do is just get it on there. I'm not actually going to use the end of the brush here to mold and, and place the snow, just get it off of the palette. Speed up the process a little bit. I'll go ahead and just use the end of the brush to scrape it out onto the base. I will use the brush to help form some of that snow, it's important that you do so with a clean brush, otherwise it'll actually take some of the color out of the bristles. The realistic water is pretty good at wicking color out of things. So I'm going to spread this out a little bit. I want to get that rough look first, and then I'm going to come in with my brush here, just tap it into place, and I'm actually using this to create a bit of a shape. When we get the close-up look here in a minute, you'll be able to see how that creates little banks. might be formed as the uh, wind is blowing on it. Gives me that ability to create just a little more visual interest here, and that's part of the reason that when you're creating a more solid look, uh, you want to leave it a little thick. We have a little bit of room here to sculpt it, to shape it, create the look you're trying to capture. You can always come back and add more realistic water over that. But here we go, you can see how I've got the banks, some of that shape, and you can see how it's going to match the other snow that I already applied and allowed to dry. 
On the other side here, I'm going to add my realistic water. Just put a thin layer on the base. Spread it out with my brush. Again, it's important that the brush is clean. Spreading it out because if I have a large pool and then pour the glass into it, there's a chance that it's going to run. I don't want that to happen. So you want to keep the layers nice and thin, even if you come back and you add more than one layer. Keep the layers nice and thin. Get rid of that air bubble there. Then I'm going to take my crushed glass. It's good to do this over a piece of paper or your palette so that you can clean up easily afterwards. And very gently, very slowly, very carefully sprinkle it out. It's important to wear a mask when you're doing this because you do not want to breathe crushed glass dust. It is, after all, made of crushed glass. Not so good for lungs. I'm now using the brush to very lightly just press it into place. Again, I don't want any loose pieces on here. When this dries, it'll be a little more snow-like, slushy, you can see on the right side there. But here you get a look already. You can see how it's got that gloss and sparkle. It'll be that combination of realistic water on the base and the crushed glass snow mixed into it. And that's it. That's how you work with the crushed glass. Like I said, it's a lot like working with other snow products, but the effect is much better than you get otherwise. Any questions? Email mrjustin at secretweaponminiatures.com. Thanks again.